Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Disco Elysium. Yes, here we are outside our hotel room, which I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming it's our hotel room, that we've left in quite the state. And uh, we're about to venture forth. But before we do, just a couple of things. First of all, since the last session I have finally had the opportunity to read up on all of these different skills and I've got a kind of, I still don't know how it works I know you can put clothes on and amend some of your skill points but I'm not quite so sure how the levelling up works so I, I want to learn that on the fly but uh, I have looked at some of these skills and I've got and in case we can choose I have picked out the ones that I think we were going to we are going to be focusing on based on the character that I have in mind so that's the, the first thing. The second thing is I noticed that we've come outside without any shoes on. We've left our shoes behind. Now he's has terribly hung over as our character. I don't know we have his name yet, but uh, he's terribly hung over, not really thinking straight. And uh, I, I, I do now notice one of his shoes hung up. Uh, I'm hazarding, I guess, his other shoe is uh, probably what causes this, this issue with the window. However, I think it's quite funny that he's just going to continue to walk around with no shoes on, completely oblivious that he's uh, forgot to put them on because he's still in a bit of a drunken state. So uh, we'll proceed onwards without any shoes. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Right. So there's something on the table. Money. Not point four. Real. 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 Is that the currency here? What's this? Oops, a daisy. Hey, bright lights. Bright lights. What does that mean? A gust of briny wind washes over you as you notice something on the floor. A shoe. A green right shoe. Ah, this must be ours, you think to yourself. What kind of shoe is it? It's a crocodile shoe, a uh, crocodile leather shoe. Exclusively for the right foot. You pick out the shards of glass and it fits you perfectly, which kind of jogs his memory a little bit. Uh, oh, wait a second, where's my other shoe? Hang, hang on just a minute. <laughs> where's my other shoe? Oh right, double click to run. Cool beans. These tips may come in pretty handy. Okay, try double clicking. Ah, there you go, you see, look at that. There you go, using uh, <coughs> our trusty key and uh, look, oh, shoe. Green left shoe. Full set of shoes. Plus one to compose you, minus one to savoir faire. And now we're dressed for the occasion. Look at that. Hello, officer. The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Is that a good year? A bad year? Oh, secret task complete. Find your other shoe. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. I thought they were crocodile skin. How do they fit? <laughs> good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Lovely. Good fitting shoes. Would you credit that? 
They may have lost some of their luster over the years, but these green crocodile leather shoes fit perfectly. Right. Let's see who this uh, fair maiden is. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. Hmm. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait a second. I, 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 Chief Executive Officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Chief Technical Officer? No. You're a police officer, sir? <laughs> Goddamn right I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it. Well, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Right, now how do you know I'm as a police officer? First I have to ask, are you okay, sir? You look like you're about to throw up. Can I bring you something? Endurance. He's right. Something wants to come out through your mouth. But you can keep it down because your body does not control you. Hmm. It's fine, it's fine. I'll answer the question. Sir, you've been here for three days. On official police business, as you put it. Three days? Have I? What kind of business? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Try the expression on her. <laughs> what, that sort of grimacing look you pulled in the mirror? <laughs> Go on, then. Check failure. Oh, no. The words have already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. Oh my god. <laughs> she erupts in laughter. All the fatigue swept from her face. What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. Uh, uh, no, 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 it's okay. Come on. Pretty please. One more time. <sighs> You heard me. Find someone else to laugh at. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> she looks back, a light glinting off her eyes. Goodbye. And then she was gone. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray, it's still smoking. Shame to waste it. Electrochemistry. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. Hmm. Yeah, the what now? The living shit! Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. Uh, am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? The gnome of Jeroma? <laughs> you feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smouldering deliciously. Yeah, but she broke the filter. Look at it. Look at it. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied and smoke them all. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe I should. Good. They'll make you stronger and better. You're too old to be cool now, but five cigarettes smoke them. Blam! Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Plus, smoking gives massive bonuses. Right, okay then. So, uh, did we pick it up? Don't think we did, no? Find smokes and smoke them. 
You need to get your hands on some cigarettes and then smoke them for the uh, for those massive bonuses. Find a pack, put it in your hand, equip it in the held slot in your inventory, and then the smokes will do the rest. Ah, okay, find a pack of smokes. And of course we found our shoes, so that's, uh, that's progression, right? Okay, so we're a police officer apparently. <clears throat> Go figure. The man's got uh, memory problems. Can we uh, maybe smooth things over? Knock on the door. There is no answer. Perception. Hearing. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. <laughs> Let's move on. What's this? The weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe Le Monde. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. So you keep getting a, like an, a cursor here, or a, what, like a blip, but nothing seems to have changed. Pants. Well, is that... Not sure. Right, let us descend. Hmm. This is where the lyrics would be. Speakers. Microphone. It's safe to assume that this uh, is where the uh, singers uh, gather. Big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. <laughs> um, with a few alcohol, with a few uh, whiskies or whatever his drink of choice is inside him. Karaoke, sure thing. Until then, uh, perhaps not. But of course, our soul is immense. Totally, and it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. Whether they like it or not, ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. Hmm. What should I sing when it comes to it? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation. But it's out there. It'll come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Yeah. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. <laughs> Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. You have to find something tragic to sing first though. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, sing karaoke. We need to find a sufficiently tragic tape, then play it on a boombox to memorise the lyrics. Then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the evening, when there's more people. Get hold of a sad song on tape. Okay. Well, bear it in mind. <clears throat> The 
the cafeteria manager. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. Empathy. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposefully ignoring you. Hmm. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no. Uh, You're a hero. A real hero, cop. Is that sarcasm in his voice? Could the, miss, uh, could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Hmm. Yeah. Sarcasm. Lowest form of wit. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Yeah. Don't appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. Oh, uh, it's not? He raises his shoulders like he's about to say something more, but then he gets a hold of himself. You're right. It's not. Right. Start again, shall we? Glancing down at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. What happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors, where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, tone? Won't warn you again, pal. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Hmm. Hmm, nothing on the uh, old menu. Water cooler. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. I'll check that out shortly. Yeah, what is that? Am I missing something? It keeps coming, obviously, as you can see, like, it keeps coming with, like, you've got a new item in here, but nothing ever comes of it. Right, he said our buddy was over here. Let's go see who our buddy is. Wheelchair? Or him? Or neither, perhaps. Bomber jacket. An unplugged royal pinball machine. Mess hall reserved for union members. Hmm. Kim Kitsuragi. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this. But why? Hmm. Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Firm grip. You realize he is waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Oh, medium success. Can we invent a name for ourselves if we succeed? And if we don't, we may end up nameless for the entire game, maybe. I don't know. Failure. Oh, damn. Raphael Ambrosius Costo. I don't like that name. No. No. <sighs> It's not very good. It's, uh, uh, 
No! I have to create my own name! Yeah, it sounds a bit odd. <laughs> A bit too ostentatious, perhaps? Like something a bit shorter, more catchy? No, it's not. Raphael Ambrosius Costo is one classy name for one classy cop. Say it. No! Uh, my name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Yes, well. He doesn't even process what you just said. Just moves on. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean him? Nodding towards the uh, the manager who just spoke. To yeah, I'll talk to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Interviews? What are you talking about? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Um, yeah, of course I've done that. Of course. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Um. Uh, yes. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course I did. Yeah, I took it right down from the, the tree. Did we? we? We don't know. Maybe we did in a drunken stupor. <laughs> Hopefully. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? Uh, this was, uh, 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 no, the body is no longer in the tree. So the body is still in the tree. You're confusing me with your questions. Um, this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to be no longer in the tree. Um, Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Oh, what a shame. Get to it now. Rip that body down from the tree. <laughs> Evidence and stuff? We shouldn't be ripping it down. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, trust me, I'll, I'll rip that body right on down. Not a problem. After it's been up in the tree for that long, any kind of ripping is inadvisable. Hmm. Right. Well, we don't want to disclose any of this really to him, as if we're stupid. Okay, let's crack on then. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Um. Checking his pockets, patting himself down. Um, it, yeah, where's where's my badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Um, I, I seem to have mislaid it. I haven't seen it since I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible, but getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. Okay, so what's going on here? Right, first of all, I want to try and figure out what the hell is going on with this bloody constant blipping of the inventory. Second of all, we have uh, new things to do. So uh, we need to report our badge missing. So I can use the uh, lieutenant's radio. We need to inspect the body hanging from the tree. Um, and resist the urge to rip it down. And then we need to interview the cafeteria manager again. So karaoke and smokes may have to wait until we've got Cracking with this official police business, apparently, because we're a cop. 
Go figure. I'm still trying to come round from that massive hangover. And at the moment, uh, we're not doing very well. But at least we've got our shoes on. It's a start, right? <laughs> so, uh, we're going to end the session here. Um, join me in the next one when we uh, will try to show some kind of competence. Till then, see you soon. <laughs>